Hi, in this video, we're going to be talking about how to find the intercepts. That is the x and the y intercepts. The x intercept is where the graph crosses the x axis, and the y intercept is where the graph crosses the y axis. And so, there are two things you want to do, and that is whenever you want to find an intercept, you let the opposite variable equal zero, and you solve for the interested variable. So, when you want to find the x intercept, you let y equal zero, and you solve for x. When you want to find the y-intercept, you let x equal 0 and solve for y. So let's work some examples. So I have two graphs here. So just to demonstrate, first of all, what the intercept looks like. This is a horizontal line through the y value of 1. So when you talk about the x-intercept, where does this graph, you're talking about where does this graph cross the x-axis? Well, this graph, the blue graph, does not cross the x-axis, and so therefore there is no x-intercept. However, where is the y-intercept? That's where the graph crosses the y-axis, which is right here at the point 0, 1. So the y-intercept of that graph will be 0, 1. So in my second graph here, I have an oval. This is an oval, and it crosses both the x and the y-axis. It crosses the x-axis in two places, so there are two x-intercepts. The first one is here at the point 0, 0, and the second one is here at the point 6 comma 0. So those are your two x-intercepts. And then where does it cross the y-axis? So again, remember, here's your x-axis, here's your y-axis, here's your y-axis, your x-axis. So where does it cross this y-intercept or y-axis? And that's right here at the point 0, 0. So 0, 0 is both an x and a y-intercept. And then you also have another x-intercept at 6, 0. So those are your x and y-intercepts. So now let's look at how do you find the x and y intercepts um, if you're given the equation form. So for example one, we want to find the x and y intercepts of negative 2x plus 4y equal 12. So let's start off by finding the x intercept. So if we want to find the x intercept, we let the opposite variable equal 0. So we're going to let y equal 0. And then we're going to solve for x. So 4 times 0 is 0. That leaves us with negative 2x equal to 12. And then divide by negative 2. x is equal to negative 6. So that means this graph crosses the x-axis at negative 6, comma 0. So now let's find the y-intercept. We're going to find the y-intercept by letting the x variable equal 0. So replace x with 0, negative 2 times 0 is 0, so that leaves us with 4y equal to 12, divide both sides by 4, and you get y equal to 3, so that means this graph crosses the y-axis at the point 0, 3. So your x-axis or your x-intercept is negative 6, 0, and your y-intercept is 0. And so that's how you find the x and y intercept. Okay, here's another one. Now let's find the x and y intercept of x squared plus y equal to 9. We're going to start off with finding the x intercept. So again, you let the opposite variable equal 0. So this time we'll let y equal 0. Well, x squared plus 0 is just x squared. And this leaves us with the quadratic equation because of the exponent of 2, the high exponent being 2. So to get rid of this square, you have to square root both sides. And remember, whenever you take the square root of both sides, you take both the positive and the negative value. So you get x is equal to plus or minus 3, positive and negative 3. So that means there are two x-intercepts. So one x-intercept is at 3, 0, and the other one is at negative 3, 0. Now we'll find the y-intercept find the y-intercept by letting the x variable equal 0. So replace x with 0. 0 squared is 0. 0 plus y is y. So you're left with y equal to 9. So that means this graph crosses the y-axis at the point 0, 9. And so these are your x, 2 x-intercepts, and this is your 1 y-intercept. So now you try this one. Find the x and y intercepts of x equal y squared minus 1. Pause the video for a moment and see if you can get these right. So if you started with the x-intercept, 
then you should have let the y value equal 0. Replace y with 0. 0 squared is 0 minus 1 is negative 1. So your x-intercept is the point negative 1, 0. And then to find the y-intercept, you let x equal 0. And so you get 0 is equal to y squared minus 1. And so solve for y. Add 1 to both sides. 1 is equal to y squared. Get rid of the square. In order to get rid of the square, you have to take the square root of both sides. And also remember, when you take the square root of both sides, you take the positive and the negative value. You get y is equal to positive and negative 1. So you end up with two y-intercepts, 0, 1, and 0, negative 1. So you have one x-intercept of negative 1, 0, and two y-intercepts, 0, 1, and 0, negative 1. Did you get it right? Hopefully you got it right. Um, if not, go back and see where you made an error. Make sure you plugged in 0 for the right variable. And if you have any questions about any of this, make sure you include them in the comments below. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thanks for tuning in.